Here we go again with PowerDirector. This video is number 41 in the series and it deals with advanced picture-in-picture -picture with some chroma key and the key key component here is adding the black colour slide. Well, it can be any colour slide. Let me talk you through the process if you are up to this level. And so we've, what we've got on screen at the moment are three components. One of them is an orange tell you what, let's go down to the end and I'll show you what I mean on the components. Right, here we go. Here is a photograph of an orange card with a green rectangle. Okay, that's one component. It's a direct photograph. Notice the uh, the border here on the bottom of the green where it's got the, the light coming in. There's like a little black um, shadow, drop shadow, a real life drop shadow. So this is an image of mine which is mostly sky and mostly green field. That's a component. And then the last set here, what we've got, and I'm just going to play this for a second and I'll show you what I mean, is that we've got a black filler slide that allows the video to chroma key out. So in other words, let's go back and I'll tell you how we've got there. Just bear with me because this is worth learning. So here we go. Now what happens is, and bearing in mind that if you look at the the green sky and the, the field, you see that the tree is really, really big. And the reason it's really big is because it fills the whole of the screen. If I go back, there's the original image and I've made it a lot bigger, but I can't, um, I can zoom in, but I can't zoom out. And I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. Here is one attempt. So in other words, I have chroma keyed the green. Let's just check that we have. And what that looks like is that. So you've got the orange, I've chroma keyed the green. Then we go back, and so that makes the green transparent, and it makes, you can just see that. Can you see the original image? That's quite interesting, actually. Just make that big. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. You can, you can clearly see. Yeah, there we go. There's the original image. But when you chroma key it, I can't, because it is the top image, which is this one, I can't make it smaller because it is the main component of the timeline. So, working the problem through, I say what happens if we add a clear black slide, the second component being a orange and green, which we can chroma key, then the third component, which is the biggie, we can put our slide in, but we can move it around however we wish. And then we can position it over. And then what happens is the, the black is just a filler, really. So we've got the black as a filler. Then we come along and we've got the photo over the top. And you think to yourself, well, hold on a second. We're nearly there, but something's wrong. And the reason it's wrong is because it's in the wrong order. So in other words, black is correct. When you come down to the orange and green, in other words, your chroma layer, it needs to be at the bottom. And then the photo is at the bottom. So what we've got is we've got something like that. Now that could kind of like work if you put it there and it, it gets messy. Or of course you can bring it over, over and make it, um, you know, top right to be a picture or a, an image over the top. But I wanted to get the shadow effect. So what happens is you swap them round. So this time you've got the black, which is the filler. You've got the image that you want to show um, in the hole, in the green hole if you like, and then the bottom one is the chroma key. So just to check, what we've got is the chroma key, which is there, and then we can go back just to see how those components work. And there is our finished article if you like, meaning that we've got like a, a little shadow border here at the bottom and we've got something going on in the hole. All made possible by this single coloured layer, in this case a black layer, pushing the component of the slide or video and the chroma part itself down the timeline. So if you are dealing with regular desktop offline editing, something like I use like uh, Sony Vegas or Magix Vegas, Final Cut, doesn't matter really, then black automatically becomes a filler component. But with PowerDirector on Android it does not, so you have to put it in. So finishing up then, we've got this layer which happens to be the chroma layer. We've got a slide in this example, which is my original, and then going back to something a little bit more advanced, what I've done here, let me just push that back again, what I've done is I've got the same image, but this time I've flipped it. I've used Edit Flip, so you can see we can pop it back down, flip it back over, and then we've got a video, which is just one I made earlier, 
bearing in mind the chroma layer is the second layer down here, the second added layer. So it's top slide color. I can actually edit that and show you what I mean is I can put any old color in here. Let's just do a blue light if you like. It doesn't really matter. So in other words, just because it's a filler, it does not get seen. If you wanted to, you could make it seen if you like, and you can bring it in like that. But the thing is that because I've added um, the the video, which is this level, you can see it's, uh, let's, let's try and muck about with it just to finish up. So in other words, if I made it like that, there we go. What I've got now is the black and white video with an orange card and a blue board around the outside. You can see that we're starting to work on this. So, so there you go. Um, thanks for everybody who's watching this Power Director series. And I know that Power Director Cyberlink themselves are very, very scantily clad, shall we say, on their help videos. So there you go. This was number 41. And this was YouTube Mike Downs. Let's finish up. Finish, finish. Thanks, AZ.